Oh shoot, I'm rolling. Alright. Hello ladies and gentlemen. It's me, Rick Nethery, again, as I usually say. Um this evening I've been practicing my offhand standing with the SKS. And I've had a few decent shots, a few not decent shots. But it's getting late, late evening. And uh, what I'm planning to do this time before I go home, I was going to try to shoot one halfway decent three-shot group. I've got, I'm shooting a little piece of uh, orange tape, but I went ahead and marked it. I can't see it from here. That way when we go down there, you'll know which one I was shooting at. And I just want to see how far off I am with uh, three shots. I'm using this uh, Hornady 123 grain SST ammo. And uh, I thought maybe if I used a little better ammo than the tool I shot in those other videos, maybe I'd have better grouping, but uh, that's not the case. You know, uh, it's me. Um, I'm on fire at it. I'm gonna try to give it a good three shot group and I put a big, it's got a big back board on it so I can tell at least where they went. But uh, here we go, three shot, standing. I can barely see that little dot. Uh, weapon's clear. On safe. Here we go. I've had some fouls of shooting this evening. I'll uh, pause you to spare you from getting dizzy. Okay, here's what we got. I was shooting at this one. And I got these two. And then I got very wobbly. And I shot that one. So if I could have shot another one just a little closer, would have been better. But that was at uh, 50 yards. Tightening up a little. Just, just a little. Um, I'm going to try it one more time. All right. Okay. I'm back again. Just fired a three-shot group. I had two close together, and I had one probably four inches to the right, three or four inches. So y'all have seen that as we're on the same video. So I'm going to try it again. And for some reason, when I get to that third or fourth round, I start getting real wobbly. But I'm going to try to shoot same place and see if I can tighten it up a little. I'm, I can barely, I, I'm having a little trouble seeing the target. That's why I use that fluorescent tape, but uh, here we go again. We're going to try one more, and we'll see where these go, and then I'm going to call it a night. All right. Earplugs in. Lost chamber. Uh, I probably shouldn't have chambered it up like that with an SKS, because sometimes these things are known to slam fire. All right, here we go. Uh, steady. On my sights, choke down. I'm gonna try that up my foot.
they're wobbly on that third shot for some reason. All right, here we go. I'm, try I'm trying to be accurate. Okay, let's go see what we've done, or what I've done. Uh, it's all my fault. Weapons on safe again. All right, here plugs out. I'm on pause. Here we go. Pause. Okay, here I am. I think I actually shot a little worse. You know, this was that first effort, one, two, and then three, and this was second effort. I nailed it right there, and I got really, really wobbly, and I got it over here, and I got it over there. So, I think I'm just getting tired. I've been shooting this evening. I'm going to try to try to bring it in. You know, if it had been, you know, like that right there, it's better. But what I'm doing is uh, practicing, you know. And I, I know a lot of people probably don't record their, their practicing. But uh, what the heck, you know, I'll record it. And, uh, you know, if anybody enjoys watching it, you know, that's great. But I'll have a... A way I can track back and and see if I'm making progress you know if what I did work but uh, if you uh, watch this video uh, I really appreciate you uh, God bless America amen all right I was gonna end that video right there but I got thinking about it you know I could barely see that dot I had I mean it it was tough so I reset the target and I've got a slightly better orange dot, you know, that I, than what I had. I'm going to try one more time and uh, see if, if I can end feeling a little bit better about this. The bore is nice and fouled now. Here I go. I think I ought to try the three shot. You know, I could probably pull off a two shot, make it look decent, or a one shot, but a three makes you concentrate because you got to reset what you're aiming at. So I'm going to take this rifle. I'm going to fire at a new target that's a little easier to see three times. And then we're going to go down there and what it is, it is. But uh, here we go again. And if you're watching me, I appreciate you. And if you're laughing at me, uh, Hey, I'm used to it, but uh, here we go, here we go. Chambered up, dirty rifle, three shots, standing, 50 yards, SKS rifle. Using a slight six o'clock hold. Here we go. Weapon on safe, weapon clear. Okay. Oh shit, I knocked my ammo down. Oh sorry, pistol. All right, here we go. I'm on. Oh heck. I will cut the walk. Here we go. Pausing. Okay, here I am. It's that third shot gets me every time. I held a little bit too far low. One, two, three. I always get a flyer every time I do this. I don't know why but uh i was thinking you know because the, the rifle shoots a little high and i was holding and i might have had just too much of a, a gap between me and the, the the target where i'm firing from is way up there is where my truck's at firing standing down this little hill but uh anyhow <sighs> as usual if uh, you're a subscriber, I thank you for watching my videos. I'm going to try to 
continue to practice, continue to improve, and, and maybe one day bring you some really good shooting. But uh, I was filming my practicing. So, anyhow, y'all have a good night. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.